It'll be perfect for a fall night, fall afternoon, whatever you're trying to drink it, it'll be great. A crowd pleaser too. Yes, yes, it'll please anybody that you have over for a fall fun evening. Hi, I'm Mary Louise. Today we're at Rocktown Kitchen in Harrisonburg. I'm here with Addie and she's gonna show us how to make some drinks with Shenandoah Valley Orchard's apples. What are we making? All right, so the first drink we'll be making is an apple cider margarita. We'll be using tequila, Cointreau, sours, and then your apples. So Addie, take us away. What do we do first? All right, so we're gonna start off with an ounce and a half of tequila. And then we'd use half an ounce of Cointreau. What is the purpose of adding that with tequila? We would put Cointreau in a margarita just because it rounds out the drink a little bit. It's an orange liqueur, so it adds a little bit of citrus to a margarita that you'd like. Oh, that'll go nicely with the cider. Yes. And then we would do an ounce and a half of sour mix. And then we will finish it off with an ounce and a half of apple cider. And this apple cider actually comes from our neighbors at Show Walter's Orchard. They have lots of cider, hard and regular. So I'm excited to yes, try this today. It's super yummy. And then you're gonna shake it with some ice. And then what you would do in the meantime is you can rim um, your glass. We're using a mason jar, but you can use whatever glass you'd like. So you can use lime, lemon, whatever would make it work. We're using lime just because it's a margarita. And then we're gonna use a cinnamon sugar rim. Oh, it looks good. Yes, super yummy. It adds to the apple cider taste. And then we're gonna pour our drink in the mason jar. Beautiful. All right, and now we're gonna top it off with some ice. And then we're gonna garnish it with our apples, and then our lime, and then a cinnamon stick. I am super excited to try this drink, especially with Evercrisp apples, which are my favorite. And this looks especially refreshing. Yes, very yummy, perfect for the fall season. Absolutely. Okay, now for the flip side, I understand you're going to be making a hot drink. Yeah, yeah, so if we're interested in having a hot drink, we're not really interested in having a cold drink on a cold night, we're gonna move over to our mold wine, and typically it doesn't come with apples in it, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna incorporate our local apples to round out for a really nice taste. Great. So we're gonna start with a bottle of Merlot, now we're using Merlot, but you're more than welcome to use any smooth red wine of your choosing. The higher the quality of wine, the better it'll taste, obviously, so that can be up to your discretion. Depending on the result you want, of I'm course. sure. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then we'll be using a quarter cup of cognac, and then we're using two cinnamon sticks. Okay. And then we're gonna throw some oranges in there, your apples in there as well. More Evercrisp. Of course, the best <laughs> ones. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey. How much fruit should you add to something like this? So um, I just added half an apple and half an orange, but you're more than welcome to use a whole apple, whole orange, or less than that, whatever you feel is right. The benefits of adding more or less just changes the flavor of the drink, and then, um, and then you can obviously eat them afterwards if you want to snack afterwards as well. Okay. And then um, we will add about a pinch or two of cloves. And so now we're gonna add two to four anise, star anise. That's anise? how uh, I would say it. Right, yes. By all means, call it whatever you'd like, but that is what we're adding to this drink. And now we're gonna stir it together. Um, and depending on your crock pot, the best way that I've found to make it is that you would fill it up halfway. Uh, you would cook it on medium to high heat and then just let it get to barely a simmer. You don't want to cook it too long because you don't want the alcohol to cook out. And then once it reaches that point, you're going to cover it back up, reduce it to low, and then you can let it sit for between 15 minutes up to three hours, just letting it simmer. And then we have our mold wine. Yeah, then you have your drink. It smells like fall and Christmas and every holiday rolled up into one. Yeah, you can use it for the fall season, but then obviously it carries over into all the cold months, so you can use it during Christmas time. It's a pretty versatile drink. All right, here are the drinks we just made. Did you want to go ahead and give them a taste? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I'll start with the margarita.
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Good, I'm happy to hear that. I like the mix of tequila with apple. Yes, I've yes. never thought of that before or tried anything like it, but yeah, that's it, yeah. good. It's really great. And then the mulled wine. Mm. Is it good? You like it? Oh, wow. And having the star anise there, you can really taste that coming through. Yeah, perfect. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it all works together Thank well. you, Addie. That was of so course. good. Yeah, yeah, anytime. I'm transitioning into our entrees. Our chef was able to use the Shenandoah Valley Orchard apples for part of the ingredients. And so the first option we have right here is our pork chop that comes with mashed potatoes, apple and onion chutney, and then a red wine barbecue sauce. Wow. And then we have our seared sea bass, and that's gonna come with fingerling potatoes, an apple and celery root slaw, and then topped off with our ginger soy glaze. They both look delicious and so beautiful. Yes, yes, <laughs> they're really great, and I'm glad we were able to use the local apples as part of our entrees. Thank you, Addie, and yes. thanks to Rocktown yes. Kitchen. It's exciting to see such a big array of products here with the apples, and join us next time to see where we end up.